Well, I just heard that it's legs day. It seems my physique is gonna change. I'll get on the hamstring curl and I begin to train. Lactic acid burns and blood pumps through my veins. The gym is open. Look at those ceiling lights. Welcome to this place. I'll show you my hamstrings. The gym is open. <laughs> fucking hell. Oh, I had to get a bit of fucking creed out of the fucking system, motherfuckers. That's right. No, nope. wait, 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 wait. No, nope, we're not done. You know why? Because Legs Day is going to have you fucking asking the question. What is left? Whew. Holy fuck. Contact Creed, guys. Tell them. Fucking tell them. You know, like if they if they ever need like a replacement vocalist, you know, the that motherfucker that sings for them fucking, I don't know, does a rock star thing and ODs or whatever like they all fucking do. Uh, I'm fucking here, man. I'm, I'm primed and I'm ready and I can do all the Creed things. You know what I mean? I can... Woo, man, that's some fucking liquid hot creed right there, man. All right, just one more thing. I'm not quite done. Just one more thing to get out the system. Should have been there on a Sunday morning training my legs. Whew. All right. I believe I have now expelled those creed-like demons. No, wait, we're not. I feel like I'm stuck in here. I feel like I created my own prison. Okay, that's it. That's actually it. Right. So, on to something more relevant, I guess, now that we've freed up our mind. Legs day training. What a weird time to say that at doing a fucking back exercise this is just a circuit i'm doing at the start you know if the so just like continuous work generally really high reps not sets taken to fail you're just getting a bit of a pump a burn getting the heart rate up a bit so just continuously working through the exercises no resting between the rounds of the circuit and just that's just how i like to warm up i'll do that on like fucking any day obviously the exercises change according to what i'm going to be doing after that but I find that a nice way to warm up, and then when I get to, like, my big compound move, I can do more, like, what I'd call feel sets rather than warm-up sets, so it's just just getting a feel for the movement and what exactly I want to be doing with my body when it gets to the money-maker type sets. So, uh, you know, that's just my take on warming up. Fucking works for me. And these are the big fucking focus uh, lately for me on the lower body days is hitting the hybrid stance deadlift for high reps seems to always work out to 20 which is kind of fucking strange because i don't actually count the reps during the set it's inadvertently kind of just turned into 20 rep deadlifts so it's got a ring to it so fucking whatever go with that so the reason as well i call this a hybrid stance deadlift is it's not mega wide like you see with the powerlifting style two inch range of motion sumo deadlifts you know the feet are still in uh they're actually closer to a conventional stance it's just sumo by law of arms being slightly inside legs um and also the hips are in a more similar position to a conventional deadlift than a sumo deadlift where they tend to drop down a lot lower so that's why it's called a hybrid deadlift. It's like splicing the conventional with the sumo. I really, really fucking like this movement. Uh, the lower back still gets worked really fucking hard. And where I feel the, the most extreme emphasis, like the glutes. All right, man, like for me at least, and especially on the higher reps, the glutes get fucking pounded. And I'm not talking about like prison style pounded. I'm talking about like the external glutes, not the internal glute. Um, if your internal glute is working on any exercise, to be honest, I would wager that you need to 
look into your technique, um, refine your bracing because there could be an anal prolapse coming your way. And that's not like maybe you want to work your internal glutes. Um, that's not the way to do it. Actually, that pole that you put the weights on there on the calf raise on the screen, that would do a better job at working your internal glute if that's your goal. I'm not judging, okay? But the other side to that is you're going to need to buy a home gym because that, look, I'm going to be honest, I'm not closed-minded to other people's lifestyles, but that is unacceptable in a public gym, okay? So if that's the type of training you want to partake in, you you're going to have to do it at home. There might be private gyms that permit that kind of thing and encourage it. I don't know. Um, yeah. Anyway, we're way off, way off subject here now. So let's fucking bring it back down. Bring it back around. So after uh, that devastating set of high rep deadlifts, because, man, those fucking destroy you, man. They're fucking hard. What I generally like to do after them is just kind of crumple down on the floor and puff and uh, just suffer a wee bit. And then once I've recovered from that, I, uh, you know, on this occasion it was in calf raises and abs, doing a bit of a superset. I like my supersets and my circuits and all of that type of shit because it keeps that heart rate a little bit higher, so you, you're getting like... Um, I like to call it discount cardio because you're strength training or hypertrophy training or whatever, but you're getting a free little like sprinkling of fucking cardio in there. You know what I mean? Like, but you know, this fantastic offer, buy two, get one for free. You know, it's like, you know, what else can I call it, man? It's fucking discount cardio. You're not even intending to do cardio, but you're, you're elevating that heart rate a bit higher than you would be if you just did straight sets. So that's one thing I really like about circuits and shit like that. And if you plan them out right, if you pick the exercises wisely, it doesn't really tend to fuck with your ability to exert maximum effort. Um, I, I don't think it cuts down my reps or anything, but like I said, I'm getting that benefit of the extra cardio work. Um, and to be honest, if I did lose a rep here and there, um, but I'm able to like, I think I'm still gaining more than I'm losing there, if you know what I mean. So that's just my take on that. Um, the thing I really like with machines though, is the ability to just like go fucking ham, you know, like beyond failure and like you, you can like, you know, you do your full range reps, or whatever, then you can start hitting partials or rest pause, drop sets. Um, and I just think you can keep the target muscle, you can't really stray from form on a machine, you can't stray as far as you can with a barbell or a dumbbell or whatever, where you can really, on those free weight movements, you can really start to fucking butcher things, and you can, as a result, really start to fucking butcher yourself, so it's a safety thing, you know, it just, and, and the recoverability, you know, like, uh, I don't know, man, if you started doing drop sets on deadlifts and squats and things regularly I don't imagine for a natural that's particularly sustainable I haven't actually ever tried it to be honest I don't know but you know on machines it is sustainable you can beat the fuck out of the muscle in that regard and still recover perfectly fine for the next workout these fucking glute drives I used to do these all the fucking time and uh, for me they actually really helped um, correcting, I guess, the way I locked out a deadlift taught me to push the hips through uh, rather than, like, pulling up with the back, if that makes sense. So, like, I used to deadlift a lot heavier and for low reps most of the time. And um, I found that lift and going really hard on it really advantageous for deadlift lockout, as I said, you know, from knees through to the actual lockout. Um, and doing them in the fashion of where you go down as deep as the machine permits and having a little pause and then really just trying to explode upwards, you know, nice semi-slow controlled down negative. I'm telling you, man, like people think that machine's a gimmick, uh, that it's just for chicks and Instagram, blah, blah, blah. 
Nah, man, like, I think it's legit, um, and I think it's better than the barbell hip thrust because it's more stable, it's more comfortable, and there's no issues with, like, like if the bar's slightly misbalanced or something on a barbell hip thrust, or if you're going really heavy and the pad you have isn't sufficient, it's just, it could be misbalanced or just fucking so uncomfortable you can't even do the movement. So, um, yeah, I think the fucking hip drive machine is fucking awesome and uh you know i'd encourage people to be open-minded and actually give that a go anyway that's all i've got to say fucking offing